Well, what I want to do is make sure, first of all, we're reducing taxes, because that is needed to drive economic growth. Currently, the country is predicted to go into a recession. That will be a huge problem. We know what recessions are like. People lose their jobs. There are fewer opportunities. Wages are lower. And we need to avoid that. And at the moment, we have the highest taxes in 70 years. So what I would do is immediately reverse the national insurance rise. I'd also have a temporary moratorium on the green energy levy to save people money on fuel bills. I'd do that from day one. But also what I would do is keep corporation tax low because we cannot tax our way to growth. And I believe in conservative economics. I believe in a growing economy. And a growing economy actually brings in more tax revenue in the future. So that's a really fundamental principle for me. Now, we are facing great difficulties with energy. And I understand people are struggling with their bills on fuel and food. But the first thing we should do as conservatives is help people have more of their own money. What I don't support is taking, people, taking money off people in tax and then giving it back to them in handouts. That, to me, is Gordon Brown economics. And, you know, frankly, we had, we had, we had years of that under Labour, and what we got was a slow-growth economy. And we didn't get the opportunities, we didn't get the enterprises, we didn't get the new jobs in places like Darlington, which is one of the reasons people voted Conservative. They voted Conservative because they want to see enterprise, they want to see new opportunities. And that is why it's so important that we don't raise taxes, that we keep taxes low, and also we abolish these EU rules right. that are holding back investment into clarify. our country. Let, we'll get on to that. Let me just clarify something. Gordon Brown economics. You're accusing Rishi Sunak of having Gordon Brown economics. What I'm saying well, is that... Yes or is, no? Well... <laughs> If you, I was actually responding to your question, Tom, uh, which, which is uh, which what I'm here for. Which is what I'm here for this Reece evening. Policies, which you, is, you know. which is, you know, do you just, do you just think about? There's a fixed pie. We have to share out the pie, and we have to give out money and handouts. My view is we can grow the pie. That there is a having lower taxes actually helps us generate more income into the economy, so there is more money to go round. And what I fundamentally don't agree with is putting up taxes and then also giving out benefits. I think that's the wrong approach. Well, first of all, I am Foreign Secretary, and I'm focusing my energy on dealing with the very serious foreign policy issues we face, the issues in Taiwan, uh, the issues with Russia and Ukraine. And that is rightly my focus. We have a Chancellor, Nadim Zahawi. We have a Prime Minister who are in those jobs until September. And I think it would be constitutionally deeply undesirable to try and overrule them with a sort of made-up committee of the CBI, me and Rishi Zunak. I mean, I just find it, a, I mean, I find it an extraordinary... You know, Nadim Zahawi, not, not, just he's, not just because he's a supporter of my campaign, and he is, um, is a fantastic chap. Boris Johnson, you know, he's done a great job as Prime Minister, delivering Brexit, delivering, delivering on the COVID vaccine, standing up to Putin. They are capable people, capable of making these decisions. This kangaroo committee you're proposing sounds bizarre. Well, the only poll that counts is the one at the end of this thing, and we're only just getting started, Tom, right? So you, don't, you don't want to answer that question? No, no, I'm, I'm out and about all day, every day. I'm giving it absolutely everything I've got, and I'm fighting for the things that I passionately believe in that are right for this country. And I'm just going to keep doing that with everything I've got until the last day of this campaign. And I hope I get to see lots of you over the next few weeks. Well, look, I don't, I don't think that will be necessary because what we're talking about now, Tom, is the extra increase on top of what we thought. And we already thought bills were going to go up to £3,000 when we announced that support. And it's, it's really, really serious. And I think everyone should be under absolutely no illusion about how difficult it's going to be for millions of families this winter. And our responsibility as a compassionate Conservative government is to make sure that we support those who most need our help through that. And that's what I did as Chancellor for two years. And that's what I'm going to do as Prime Minister. And I want to go further than I did previously because the situation is worse. It's right that we target that on the people who most need our help. And today I announced what I did because I wanted to give those people peace of mind. And the only way to help them is with direct support. 
because tax cuts alone are not much good if you're a pensioner who's not earning any extra money. They're not much good if you're working hard on the national living wage because Liz's tax cut is worth about a quid a week for that person. It's worth zero for a pensioner. That's not right. That's all right. No, that's all right. That's right. You're fully entitled to ask questions, sir. And, we've, we've, and Tom asked a question, right? So, yeah, you're asking why I resigned. Yes, it was really sad. I was sad I had to resign, actually. I was sad I resigned. But actually, you, you are totally, and I'm respectfully, you are simply wrong to say that I wielded the dagger. Because, because you know what? It wasn't just me who felt that enough was enough. The government was on the wrong side of yet another ethical decision. It, and, and it was, you know, it was, it was six, 60, other, 60 other members of parliament also thought that enough was enough because we wanted to change things and that's why we're here. And yes, the simple answer to that question is yes, I am the person who can beat Keir Starmer. That's why I'm standing here tonight. Yeah.